Good morning, everybody. There's no Michigan or Old Park Guys State Wells. We're going to be in Ohio, Indiana, and in Michigan. We are chasing the Tri State Excursion from Eden, Ohio to Hillsdale, Michigan. What's leading is 765. You've seen my last video of the fall excursion to 765. This time we're doing the same thing. Oh, this time we're chasing it with a bunch of fun. Our first spot would end up in Edon, Ohio. I'm on a camcorder, yeah. Now we're in Hamilton, Indiana. This reminds me of a spot that we first time chasing it. This is the second spot of the last time. He's going fairly slow because the speed restriction is only 25 miles per hour. So this time will be an easy chase. Well, depending on the traffic. There's a lot of foamers that's chasing this. We're just getting it at a random crossing just west of Hamilton, Indiana. Now, the next spot will be Steubenville, Indiana. But, let's <laughs> just get the west of this train. We're just gonna get the steam engine here and then go to Steubenville. All right, now we're in Steubenville, Indiana. By this time, he'll be going slow as the last time because he is going to take the Y. This Y, this line basically, the Y, will take up towards Hillsdale. Oh. Oh, yeah. If he was going west, he'll be going towards Hudson and all the other towns on the Indiana Northeastern. By taking this fly to go north, he'll be going up to Hillsdale on the Indiana and Northeastern as well.
damn seconds. We made it in Plensons Lake, Indiana. Well, this depot is in the start of this. The depot will be by side the Indiana Northeastern. By seconds, I will get this photo. Just a random crossing that we made it in 30 seconds to spare. This is a photo that I got. I don't think it's good, but what do you guys think of the photo? 765. Wolf speed ahead. Indiana, we're not even in Michigan yet, but anyway, we're in Angolia, I thought a friend would be here by now, but 765 is getting pretty close, and one of my buddies is here in Angolia, while chasing 765, we paced 765 for a bit, but I didn't get any video or photos of that. Luckily by me, I only got none pictures and videos. But here we are in Angolia. This picture is absolutely gorgeous. Not a, it's, it's okay, it's like, here, let me show you it real quick. Yeah, that's how good my photo looks like. And we're just south of Fremont, Indiana. By the time we got done with this spot, we wouldn't be going out to another spot a long time. Tell Montgomery, Michigan. We're in Michigan now, so now we're in Montgomery. There goes 765, which is, which is 30 seconds to spare. I don't know why, but we were on another crossing just east of town. But now we're here. 
getting the old classic Kipo by the side of 765 going by right now. Now we're in Weeding, Michigan, getting the Great Elevator. On the other side of the Grain Elevator, that's where I was at last year. But this year, I'm on the other side of the Grain Elevator in Weeding, Michigan. After this one, it wouldn't be a while till we get ahead of 765. But here we go at Weeding, Michigan. at a random crossing just like like maybe like 10 miles south of Hillsdale, Michigan. This will be the last spot till Hillsdale. By time I'll be getting this shot in at the crossing. Now, we're in Hillsdale, Michigan, where he is the final destination from Edon, Ohio to Hillsdale, Michigan, where the Tri-State excursion ends in Hillsdale, but around 3 o'clock, he would be going back to Edon at like 3 o'clock. Of course, I would not be chasing that, say, with my friends, who would have been chasing the 765. 765 is historical. Well, some of these spots that we've gotten today were pretty good. After we get done chasing this 765 in the Tri-State excursion, we go out to eat, and then after we get done with eating, we just go check out 765 before we all head off and go wherever we all go. But for me, I would go home after chasing 765. Seven weeks ago. 
65 What's the foamer B next on the track? I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the Michiganer or the Buckeye State Wells. Signing off near the 765.